All right, we call it follow-up Thursday for a reason. There's things that we just forget to tell you guys about or we get closure on, um, and you guys are demanding it. And on Thursdays, we go through your emails, and then we do some follow-up. And in this case, it was Araminta Williams that said, Hey, Bart Show, we got to follow up on the women who had a secret bank account because she is a stay-at-home mom and that the husband demanded she put the money in their joint account and he was upset. She was afraid she couldn't support herself with an entry-level salary. All right, so it was last April, after looking through his wife's files for a tax document, he discovered statements from a bank account he knew nothing about. Uh, the account was solely in her name with a substantial amount of money in it. He started freaking out about the reasons she would need to have a secret account. Eventually, he confronted his wife and she confessed. As a stay-at-home mom, she wanted to have a backup plan just in case he ever decided to leave her without warning. He was furious. He expected her to immediately deposit the money in their joint account and close that account. She refused and instead insisted on going back to work. However, he thought she was being ridiculous and selfish. I suggested a compromise. She can keep the account and continue being a stay-at-home mom or close the account and go back to work. The men understood his hurt, but both agreed keeping his wife happy was a better option. What has happened since? And I think this also opened up the can, uh, conversation that for women who are stay-at-home moms, um, that there is that fear if if he leaves, I'm left with nothing. So mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. it actually was more common than not for some women to have like these secret stashes of cash. Right. Uh, who's reading it? I Mo, got it. Mo's reading it. Hi, Bert Show. I do have an update. A lot has changed since I last spoke with you all. First of all, my wife and I are no longer together. Oh. My concerns and suspicions were all valid. In fact, not only did she refuse to put the money from that personal account into our joint account, I ended up learning about yet another account with almost just as much money in it. I realized then that our marriage was not at all what I had thought and that she was very much trying to build a separate life. She pretended to be angry when I asked for a divorce. However, I think it is exactly what she had been wanting the entire time. Well, lucky for her, she got what she wanted. Unfortunately, what she wasn't expecting was that everything she had saved and tried to keep secret became 50% mine anyway. How? Mm. Doesn't 50 say. 50% the divorce? But if it's, I don't know, it's just what? like different states. Like if it's an account in your name and the spouse isn't on it, that's your money, not their money. But if mm -hmm. they came into the money after the marriage, mm -hmm. I think, so like if you had it beforehand, yeah. I think generally it's separate. But if you get that money after you've been married, yeah. I think it's up for grabs. But then what's the point of having these secret accounts if it's always going to be up for grabs? Well, that may have been how they settled it in the end. Or you think that you're going to get away with taking that money and never have to be account and disclose it? Yeah, and disclose mm -hmm. it. But yeah, there are ways to find it. <sighs> Is that it? Is it no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's another paragraph. In the end, it wasn't what I had hoped or planned for in my life. But I'm realizing now that what seems painful at first is often the best thing for us. The bonus in this entire situation is that all these secret accounts that I got half of. Mm meant that I had more money than I thought. Plus, the fact that she went back to work against my wishes was also a blessing. It meant less money and spousal support. So all in all, things turned out just fine for me. So there was an article. I didn't read it, but I read the headline. <laughs> you can't. That's, that's the problem with this country right now is people just problem. read headlines and then think they know everything about the story. Tell us all about it. <laughs> I'll tell you. Uh, I'll, I'll make it really short for you. Okay. okay. Um, basically, what it said was 50% of people think that hiding money from a significant other is as on the same level. Equal playing field, cheating playing field as cheating itself. Oh, as actual like... Um, like physical infidelity. cheating. Yeah, 50%. And then don't ask mm. me anything else because that's all I read. <laughs> <laughs> what was the headline? Would you say the same thing though? That's fascinating. I'm trying to think. I'm putting myself in that position. Like what would be more upsetting? Finding out my husband slept with another woman or finding out my husband had a secret bank account? Now, keep in mind here... You're the breadwinner. Correct. So that does change the game a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So you're working hard. Of yeah. course, he's working hard at home also. He is. But the money that you're bringing in, he's stashing for a rainy day. <laughs> Wee. Mm. I'm getting pissed and he hasn't even done anything. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I'd be the same amount of mad. 
because deceit is deceit for me. Mm-hmm. Either way, I don't know. I might be a little more mad if it's a person involved. Yeah, yeah. I'm a, I, yeah if, yeah, if, if I'm being it. honest with my gut, I'm, I'm more upset about him having sex with another woman than I am about him having a secret bank account. It's real close for me, yeah. but it's definitely peen wins. <laughs> <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> Burt Show. Like what you just watched, you can get more of The Burt Show on your favorite podcast platform. Wherever you listen to your podcast, you can find us. I don't know what any of these buttons do, by the way.